Put the gun away. If I wanted you dead, Enzo, I wouldn't have walked through the front door. All the same, I ain't taking no chances. Hold on here. I know you. You're Lincoln Clay, right? Lived with Sammy Robinson? Went off to Nam? That's right. <laughs> Christ, son, if I'd have known that, we could have saved ourselves a whole lot of trouble. Follow me. You probably don't know this, but Sammy and I went way back. He was a good man. Didn't deserve what happened to him. Hell, none of y'all did. And this shit with the casino? It's a giant fuck you from Sal to every man who ever worked for him. He wants to go legit and fuck the rest of us in the process. <laughs> Guess it's well past time I fucked him back. You know Remy Duval? Sure, he's the big shot on the radio. Without him, there's no casino. He owns the land, runs a construction company, you name it. So, these are all fronts? Yeah, they're bullshit. Created a big paper trail to protect himself in case everything falls apart. And Marcano doesn't own any of the land? <clears throat> nah. It all belongs to Duval. He's no idiot. Long as it's in his name, Sal can't touch him. How do I find him? He lives up in Frisco Fields. But from what I hear, Olivia Marcano is keeping close tabs on him, forcing him to stay low. The last thing Sal needs is for his sole legitimate partner to get into trouble. You need to rig up explosives in a couple of spots I got round the quarry. No way I'm just walking away and leaving all this to sell.
Right there's the first batch. Rig that one up, then we'll move on to the rest. You weren't kidding about these explosives. That's life in a quarry. Back in the day, we tried sticking our pickers in the ground and fucking the stone out. But all we ended up with was chap nutsacks. <laughs> Got it. They teach you that in the army? Nope. Sunday school. Back in the day, I'd have been out there fighting alongside of you. Or going up against me. <laughs> that wouldn't have been good for you, son. I told you that piece of shit Enzo would turn on us. Shut the fuck up. I'm gonna bury that cocksucker right next to the goddamn nigga. Yeah, whatever. Run! Run! <laughs> Ticket. But for me, it don't get ugly. Guess you ain't ever been to Ohio. Got him! Get over here! You, buddy. Start firing and don't stop. Got him Fire trapped. Him. Fire him now. I'm here. Cover him, bleed. They got me that easy to take down, boy. Give it a shot. Hey, no, I see. Spotted him. Come on. What's he thinking? We got ourselves a gift.
Get out of here. Shit! Fucking! Uh, I said the same thing to boys. your mother! You okay? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Said some of these men work for you. Not some of them, all of them. That should do it. Kai's through here. God damn. You like? No, I love. Get me there and I'll make a financial contribution to your cause. They got it blocked, but I bet we can bust through the gate. What about the train tunnel? The tunnel? <laughs> it's your call. Coming through! <laughs> Ooh, right on time! time. Where am I dropping you? I got this girl, Henrietta. Shacks up at the Carousel Hotel in the Hollow. Smart as a fucking whip. I left a fucking bag with her. Should have all I need to get by. Some tears in a bucket. 
So, yeah, me and Sammy back in the day, we had these two knockouts. And we was drinking, partying, having the time of our lives. This was uh, 1942. No, 43. You must have been about the age you are now. And the girl with your old man, she starts getting into the making out. But she got a problem. Sammy's passed out cold. Told her he was drunk off his ass. But this girl was into him, so she gives him the benefit of the doubt. Keeps trying. Smacks him a bit. Wakes him up. But every time she starts getting into it, Sammy drops. Poor bastard couldn't stay awake to save his fucking life. Finally, she's had enough and storms out of there, cursing the goddamn Blue Street. And do you know who that woman was? Perla? Perla? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Perla didn't move to New Bordeaux until 44. I'll show you who it was. I got the photo right here. Are you kidding me? Sammy had a shot with her? She was passing through on her way to Hollywood, but it all worked out, didn't it? Sammy wound up with Perla. The love of his life. God damn, I miss those days. Fucking Sal. This is good right here. Sorry again about what happened to Sammy and Ellis. Appreciate it. You got some pens and needles, lassie. Set. Turns out there's at least one sane motherfucker in Marcano's crew. Enzo Conti backed away clean. No one's moving anything through Barclay Mills without paying up to us. You've got a 50-50 split of the rackets here, lad. Well, that's a mess made of your own doing. But I'll say this much. You came to me to run a part of the city last time. And I'd say it's worked out well for both of us. They teach you these kind of games over in Nam? Keep pitting people who are loyal to you against each other? Making them feel like they could be close to dying at any moment? Newsflash! You ain't in Vietnam no more. You come in here preaching patience and understanding, yet out there, you just fuck with us. Last time you called me to secure one of those rackets, I didn't see jack shit for it. This time you don't call me at all. Consider yourself warned, because I'm on the fucking edge. Don't lose your head here. Ain't had a lot of people stand by me through it all. Joe was one of a kind. I gave you Richie Doucette. Now you give me what I want. What do you think Marcano is doing out there while we're sitting here with our thumbs up our asses? Wait till they see the Irish rolling up the streets. Trust ain't something that comes easy to me, kid. I done my best to honor Perla. Can you return the favor? Gotta say, this action's perfect for Cassandra. We ain't your private army sitting around waiting to lock shit down when you need us. We got expectations. Expectations that you were sadly falling short of. Nobody cares what you got to say, Vito. If I stay here any longer, my head's gonna fucking explode. Time to get back at it. Let's clear out. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. What a prick. Turns out you were right. I gotta go. Thank you for this. 
Miss Lancaster's helping me with a side project. You get a name at Enzo? Yeah, Remy Duval. He's not only building the casino, he also owns all the land where it's being built. Remy Duval? The jackass on the radio? His family's been down here a couple hundred years. Thinks it makes him everyone's massa. According to this, he heads up the Southern Union in his spare time. The Southern Union's basically the fucking clan. You know, right before I shipped out, Father James was with some other folks protesting the fact that the city didn't have any black cops. Southern Union came in and kicked the shit out of everybody they could get their hands on. Day after, they spray painted, God hates niggers across the front of his church. If President Andrew Johnson had actually executed those traitorous fucks, we wouldn't have this goddamn problem. Enzo also mentioned Olivia Marcano. Olivia's an outlier. Old Southern money. She's the one that was married to Sal's brother, Lucho. At least until someone slit his throat. And she runs Frisco Fields. Ever since Lucho died. She expanded his drug business and opened a PCP lab. Hmm. Since a lot of mafiosos live up there, she probably just has a place they can socialize. Well, it's usually in the back of some business. I never knew the mob had women as capos. She's there to keep Duval in line. Only people these entitled pricks listen to were other entitled pricks. So who are you gonna go after first? Duval. Since he owns the land where the casino's being built, killing him will muddy things up. You think hitting Olivia's businesses will help draw him out? I've known racist assholes like him my entire life. Black man like me running around terrorizing white folks. He ain't gonna be able to let that stand. His pride will bring him down. Hey, you know, that bourbon's not cheap. Good luck out there. Where are all these Haitians coming from?